Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> okay, um, now <clears throat> I've already recorded a video foil impressioning this this lock. It's not an expensive one. It's obviously one of the Chinese ones uh, from China. Um, is it amazing? No, it's it's protected shackle. It looks quite nice actually. Uh, some of you may have this one, but anyway, this lock, um, I fully impressioned it and I used in this kit, I'll show a picture here, which kit I used, that's the one, which is a dedicated foil impression kit and, um, but they're not always readily available. So I, I, I took all the spur keys out, minus one and um, decided that I would do my method where I ground down one side of the key. Now on standard um, dimple foils, basic, normally they're on the other side, uh, somewhere on this side. So this key should fit in quite a few actually, not quite the more common one, but anyway, it goes in. I've got it in upside down. Okay, so <laughs> there's the pins and they go up. So there's the foil. I'm going to show you why that went in a minute. It's not going to open it. But if you turn this round, there's the pins. That's why when I put it in accidentally the wrong way, it opened the lock. So notice pins up is the uh, the ground off side and it's not going to open it so I'm going to stick it in the lock and I'm going to um, I'm going to use this key to foil impression it like I have done with other keys and then some of these will be going in some of my kits along with the other standard key so roll the credits and then um, let's get this in the vice and have a go foil impression it Keep watching. Okay, we're in the vice. Um, is the proper key in and pop? Turn it around, pop. Take that key out, put him down here. Is the key with the ground off bit but on the other side is the key with the same bit in Pop. so we take the key out turn it around so, so the bit without the bitting is on where we, where we ground it off put it in and it's not going to open it so what we're going to do now is we're going, I'm going to take a foil um i did try this actually and if I've, I have tried this and it has worked. I tried this just um, and it, it failed. So, but it failed because I, I rushed it and I, and I crushed the foil. You have got to be very careful with it though. To be honest with you, you've got, you have got to be really careful. So it sits in there nice. Um, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna, and the idea is you've got to get it as flat as possible, nice and gentle, both sides. And then we, the idea is you just got to very gently try to insert it. There you go, that went in better. The first time it didn't go in as well. So now we're just going to rock this. It might not be quite as quick as the, the other one. There you go. Oh, it's not bad, is it? How about that? And then we take it out gently. So I can read. There we go. So what we have, if I just take that off, what we've got now. 
doing it the right way. We have now replicated. We've now replicated in the foil the bitting of. There we go. The bitting of this lock. Identical enough, but it opens a lock. There we go. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. Um, I've made three copies of this. So as in some of the uh, future kits, this will one of these will be included with the other keys that I've done this to. So it will be able to open the kits will be able to open more locks. Um, so keep watching because I'm going to do a video. I couldn't follow the impression. This one. So I'm going to do a video. This is the this is the 50 millimeter one. This is the 40 millimeter one. And I couldn't follow the impression the 40 millimeter one because I didn't have a foil impression kit that would fit the lock. It's identical, same side, just smaller. Whee! Focus. So I'll do another video on this one. <clears throat> so keep watching for that one. But as of now, 50 millimeter he he padlock picked foil impression with a key. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. You have a nice day. And I'll catch you again soon. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.